So here in the Maya file now, you can see that well, unfortunately the texture didn't load, and if you see in the script editor, you'll get an error saying the texture file does not exist. So how do we fix this? We'll go into the attribute editor and let's check the path for the texture. It says something like dollar $abc and source images brick. Now the normal tendency would be to just go here and browse for the texture and open it up. But don't do that. We'll uh, show you the correct way to do it because you shouldn't be changing the links for the textures. Uh, since this file gets passed between the artist and between 3DU's internal staff and then to the client. So uh, all of it's necessary that this path always remains the same. And uh, for it to work on your computer, we'll show you how you can uh, set it. So this $ABC, which is actually the environment variable, will work. So let's go about setting this environment variable. In your documents or my documents folder, you'll find a folder called Maya. This folder has all your personal settings for for your Maya software. Inside my documents slash Maya, you'll find uh, the version of the software that you have installed. For now, I on this computer it is uh, 2009 in 64 bits. So I have 2009-x64 if it was just uh, 2009 on 32-bit computer it would be just 2009 or if it is 2010 it will be 2010 so you, you get into that folder and uh, scroll down to find one file called it will just show maya and if you see the type of the file it says maya environment file So this is the environment file which allows you to make settings to the Maya environment. Uh, you can open up this file using WordPad or even Notepad. Any one of them will do. I'll just use WordPad for now. And you can see it's just a simple blank file now because I haven't set any environment variables. So. Now I'll go ahead and I'll set a environment variable. As you can see from attribute editor, it was dollar $abc. I'm going to set it as $abc. Note that I'm not using the dollar before this. Uh, the dollar comes into play only in the Maya file, not here. So I'm going to say dollar $abc is equal to the path for the folder which I created earlier the C drive 3 du project element so I'm going to copy this path uh, so that is copied and it's important to understand why I've copied uh, this path that's because if you see in the attribute editor it says dollar abc slash source images slash brick dot jpg so when i go into the folder structure i find i find a path that is just before source images above source images so that in this case would be project lmn which holds source images directory and source images is the first uh, directory listed here after the environment variable so now basically what we are doing is telling Maya where it can actually find uh, this source images folder so we are telling it ABC I'll keep this attribute to edit the window side by side so so you can see ABC of course without the dollar in the maya.env file so it's abc and then the path abc equals 3 c drive 3du project lmn 
so what this file is going to tell Maya is that wherever there is dollar abc in the Maya file it will replace it with this path which we have given it here in this file so the good thing about this is that um, the artist or your project manager or even the clients may have different paths set here means somebody doesn't like to keep their stuff on the C drive maybe they don't have space and maybe another user will have it in D drive but he would have his folder structure set like that so all he has to do is just change it in the environment variable So now that we have this set, let's uh, first save this file. So this file is saved and let's close it. Now what you can do in the Maya window, let's just try to reload the texture. But it doesn't make any difference. And why is that? Because Maya does not read uh, the new changes that you did unless you close and you open Maya software once again so let's close it and open again I don't need to save the changes because I didn't change anything so let me open it once again and there you see it worked so now we have uh, we have the texture loaded on on the model in Maya and you can go and see in the attribute editor it is still the same thing dollar abc source images slash brick dot jpg so what it what it's doing is just replacing this uh, with the path that we gave earlier in that Maya dot env file So that explains how you can uh, set your environment variable and uh, never change the paths for the textures which was already given to you. But what what if you need to assign a texture, say you are doing a color mapping task and it's going to be your job to assign a texture. So then it will also be your job to assign this environment variable so that everybody else who opens your file will find the textures. For that as suppose I'm going to assign the other texture on that I'm going to see drive 3 du project element source images and uh, say I'm assigning this carpet texture so you can see now attribute editor is showing C drive 3 du project element source images and you can see the new texture loaded but this path is not going to work because uh, maybe your project manager or the clients don't have it set up in the same way so everybody has to use the environment variable to make sure that uh, anybody else can open the files for that I will just select this C drive 3 du project element remember this is what we set the path for dot for ABC in the maya.env file and now whenever we want to use ABC we need to put a dollar sign before it so we'll put it as dollar abc and just hit enter so you can see that the image is still loaded in the viewport and we have set it correctly now uh, one more last thing but a very important thing to note is that this environment variable is not just for use with uh, textures like this but even for uh, other places in the maya file where you need to link to a file from outside Maya uh, like for references or in dynamics task it would be for uh, the cache anywhere where you need to uh, link to a file outside of Maya uh, you need to put it in a proper folder and use this environment variable instead of the path so that will make sure that uh, anybody who opens a file will be able to see the linked uh, files with it